Let's not drip mud all over the fuel trailer this morning. So back to work. It is Saturday, so day six on uh, this week. Should get the pond dam completed today. Maybe another 30, 35 loads is what I'm guessing. Needs to be hauled for clay. So we're gonna get down there this morning. Look at the truck sliding. It rained right after we left yesterday. And it didn't look like it was going, I mean, you see the dusty powder right there, but it didn't look like it rained much, but it must have really came down quickly. Because it is a slick, muddy mess this morning. But won't be the first time it'll uh, get wet, so I'm going to start down here where it's a nice close haul, give it some time for the sun to get on it, dry out a little bit, and uh, we'll start digging right here and hauling down the uh, pond dam. Like I mentioned yesterday before I left, about halfway down, about three quarters of the way down, all that's pretty close, and then we need about two feet down right here, so still a fair amount of dirt to move. loading out more clay this morning. It's a little spongy. Glad we graded everything out. Rolled it in on top of the dam yesterday. It's still, as you can imagine, this red clay soaking wet. A little squishy, sticky. But uh, we'll get it top dressed with these next few lifts here today. As I finish it up, and uh, should dry it out pretty good. I'm actually cutting back where I started yesterday, kind of into that curve. Working my way back because it gets wider towards the dam. That way I got a platform to sit on and I can kind of tie back into that triangle, or to, I guess to start with was a triangle. Well, that's 18 loads of clay dumped across the pond dam. So that should be about half of what we need. And still got plenty to cut out right here. So I think it's all going to work out just perfect. I'm gonna let Robert spread that out. I gotta go up there and measure the head section. He wants to run a drain tile up each little meta strip right there. Measure that out so I can go ahead and get the pipe ordered on that. And uh, we'll come back and uh, roll this in and Put one more lift of dirt and that should be enough to uh, get it on grade and I'll slick it up with a dozer. Probably go ahead and load out a little bit of topsoil and dump over there and, and uh, cover it up with some topsoil. Okay, so the first lift is in. We rolled it in. I got him driving over it with the truck because uh, it did get a little bit wet last night to kind of mash that dry dirt in with it. just to make sure it's packed down real good and I'm happy with that. This stuff bonds so good. Good material. So Pond Dam is on grade right there where the dozer is.
it's a little mushy but it's uh packing really good bonding can't help it clay's got a good moisture content somebody asked me in one of the videos why would they never see a water truck out here wetting the clay down and the the reason is it's got plenty of moisture in it for compaction this would be a little bit spongy for a road but uh for this it's perfect absolutely perfect so this is great right here i'm gonna finish kind of trimming that out a little bit and getting that slope worked in there now cutting that back and uh this needs to come up about six to ten inches down through there and uh this will be done then we'll be uh ready to get some topsoil over there and top dress the uh pond dam with it then all i gotta do is come in here and put the overflow i'm just doing one of my 12 inch pipes right here uh, there's just there's just not enough watershed to justify a humongous structure uh just for the sheer cost of what it would cost to put in a 20 foot tall riser concrete box and pipe this will be adequate it's just that surface runoff right there so not uh definitely not 100 acres like the Beely good pond so it'll be fine plus it's got a plenty of storage and i'll do a nice spillway over there
load of topsoil for the pond dam. I'm working on this front slope, getting it uh, bladed off. And I'll start spreading topsoil. I gotta do a little more work on the back side of the pond dam to quite just get that a little more even. And uh, I'm gonna end up taking about four more trees down across the back afterwards to uh, open that up a little bit more just for a maintenance standpoint on uh, being able to access the backside a little better.
Look at that beautiful level dam. So I got one more load of topsoil to spread out right there. I got Robert loading out topsoil. I need about 10 or 12 more loads down that side up there. There's a couple little spots where the water was up on the bank a couple inches. So I'm gonna fill that in. That'll give some nice, that stuff's just like beautiful screen topsoil almost. So I'm gonna take advantage of all that and use it up there. Need a little bit more at the uh, building pad up there to dress up a slope. I'm gonna come down here with the D6, push all this over here to him, and then start leveling the pond bottom out and uh, getting that slicked up. And if I got time with the Komatsu, I'll work on that edge right there and get that cleaned up. Make it look nice today. Well, that made that look so much better. I took all that, put a skim coat over that. I kind of like that sandier topsoil there in the bottom to cover all that up. Uh, maybe it, it'll kind of keep the pond a little more cleaner, not so much red uh, mud there. 
I'm gonna come down here with the Komatsu and strip all this over and let it roll off into the edge there and kind of get this slope cut out right here. I got a little bit of clay left right here that I can use uh, for a little road project up there. I'll make that start, blah, blah, blah. show you that in another video, but uh, still a lot of work to do around here, but uh, he's hauling topsoil up there. I'm gonna go up there and probably spread that this afternoon, knock that down and get this uh, edge right here cut in. I'm take the excavator down here and we'll cut a little bit more out in the bottom and haul probably six or eight loads up there to the uh, building pad that I did to kind of soften the front slope a little bit. So he hauled uh, 12 loads of topsoil up here to the edge. That's where I did the uh, shelf right there. There's a couple little low spots. So I can use this nice clean topsoil to dress this out and kind of really even this hillside up. It kind of did a funny sag right here. So I kind of wanted to fill that in while we had topsoil close by. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out, let that dry up there and come back Monday grade the entire head section out and uh, finish shaping all this up. Well, we're gonna call it a wrap for today. Pond dam is done. I gotta put the overflow in and then let this topsoil dry out some. Clean it up a little bit and dress it up. That's a long ways down. So it's, we're pushing right at 25 feet tall right there in the bottom of that channel, which is my limit, which that's already about four feet deep there. So that's going to be, I'd say probably a good 20 feet right there because obviously it goes up the hill a little bit. But, uh, yeah, a lot of dirt went in right here. I'll have to add up all the loads later and figure up how much it took. But uh, saving that corner right there, I need some clay up there. I'll do another video once I do that. But the new road's going to come in. The main driveway comes up there by that house. See those piles of dirt that drives over there? We're going to curve it around over here so when they come in to the house that's going to be built up there, they come by and overlook the pond as they drive by and and drive out so i've got to use all this dirt to build a approach up there on the edge of that field and tie that in and there's a lot of topsoil in that corner so where the old road is we're stockpiling that so once this is in i can take and push that over top of it and cover that old road bed up and blend it back into the field but yep this is going to curve around right in here and uh just make a nice little radius into the pond and We'll finish digging that out. I gotta work on the beach over there and he wants to cut a little bit more out down there. And that's pretty much it for the pond. Let me walk over here and got that edge all blended back in. That turned out real nice. So definitely uh, ready to get this corner dug out so I can blend all this in and finish it off. I hope that puts it into perspective. The dozer sitting up there on top of the uh, pond dam and that's definitely not the highest point right there by no means it's way over there but uh that's that's a pretty massive dam should not go anywhere 
another load of topsoil going out so we'll probably get one more i'm gonna bring the dozer over here and park it fuel it up and uh we're gonna take the rest of the weekend off be back here on monday to finish grading the head section out and uh probably move this dirt out of here on uh tuesday <laughs>